Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Algorithm Pod. My name is JJ. So here I am today with a new video of cryptography and network security. So let's jump right into it. Now, in this video, we are going to exchange one of the concepts called Diffie-Hellman key exchange. Now, what do you get by this term key exchange? It is basically telling you the exchange of keys. Now, this is a method or an algorithm which makes which facilitates the exchange of cryptographic keys between sender and receiver in a secured manner. Now, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes the, the keys are being exchanged between sender and receiver or transmission channel. Now, this algorithm provides a way in which you can exchange your cryptographic keys for encryption and decryption in a secure manner without having to worry about leaking of your message contents. Now, let's take an example to try and understand this Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. Now, first step is we need to take a number Q, a prime number basically, Q. Then after that, we need to take alpha such that it is primitive root of Q. Now, what is primitive root? How we can find out the primitive root? We need to take a number alpha such that the operations alpha power 1 mod q alpha power 2 mod q so on up to alpha power q minus 1 mod q will give a series of numbers between 1 to q minus 1 so let's say i have taken q as 7 right q minus 1 means 6 now i should get operations i should take an alpha value such that all these operations give a series of numbers between 1 to 6 if they are giving me a series of numbers from 1 to 6 then i can say that particular alpha is a primitive root of q this is the condition now for this i have taken alpha equal to 3 you can take 5 you can try it out with 5 6 the anything but this condition has to be satisfied for all 1 to q minus 1 all the values of these operations must be between 1 to q minus 1 only then and it should be alpha should be less than q which means you need to select a number from 1 to 7 such that this condition is fulfilled now coming to the next step is we are taking x a here x represents the private keys and y represents the public keys now we are assuming let uh, A has taken a private key of 3, x A, private key for A as 3. Now from this private key, I need to find the public key using this alpha value. This is the formula by which we can find out the public key of A using the private key as well as alpha value. Upon simplifying it, you will get public key of A as 6. You can take any number. You can take even 5, you can take 11, you can take 6 here, the choice is yours. Now I have taken the private key of B as 5 here. You can take as I said, you can take any number. Now we need to be calculate the public key based on the private key and this alpha value. Now how I can calculate in the same way, YB is equal to alpha power XB mod Q. This is the formula. Now, after simplifying this, I will get the public key for B as 6. Now, we have obtained our private and public key. Now, what this Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm does is, the, is, it, is that it does not share public and private keys directly they will use this algorithm makes use of public key and private keys to generate another secret key which will be further exchanged between a and b now observe this carefully now the secret key for a 
if the messages is being transferred from B to A like that in that scenario the secret key for A will be the public key of B and the private key of A so if A wants to calculate its own secret calculate the secret key it will have to make use of public key of B and its own private key now upon simplifying this we will get the secret key as 6 now if the B wants to calculate the secret want to obtain the secret key it will use the public key of A and its own private key to obtain the secret key now this both keys should be exactly same for both A and B when this both keys are same then only you can say that this algorithm is correct what we, which means that we have performed the right steps now that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure to hit the bell icon see you guys in the next video thank you very much